I was talking with a client the other day about the importance of following up after a networking event. And I thought you might find this information useful too. My name is Lori Sykes. My company is Zen Rabbit. So the other day, my client Marilyn and I were talking about following up after a networking event. She had been to an event. She met someone who said she was really interested in Marilyn's services. So Marilyn went ahead and followed up with her the next day, sent her an email, and then she didn't hear back from the woman. And she was telling me how frustrating it was that, hey, this woman said she wanted to work with me, she said she was interested, and then nothing. And I asked her if she followed up more than once. So did you call her again? Did you send her a second email? She said, no, 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 no. I don't want to be a pest. Okay. Well, there's a difference between being a pest and being persistent and following up like uh, a couple of times. So people are, you know, people are so busy these days. Think about yourself. How many times do you need to see something come across your desk before you actually take action on it, right? So people are busy. They They may have the best of intentions and then they just don't follow through. So it's up to you to be persistent. Have you ever thought about doing something for months and you're like, oh yeah, I got to do that. I got to do that. I got to do that. And weeks go by, months go by. And then when you finally get around to it, you it's hard to believe it's been as long as it's been before you actually got it done. But eventually you follow through, but the, the, sometimes maybe the messages had to keep showing up for you in your inbox before you took action, right? It reminds me of the um, getting myself to read the book, The Five Second Rule. So I initially listened to a podcast with the book, with the book's author, Mel Robbins, and she was talking about the five second rule and all the, the great information that's in the book. And I thought, oh, I need to read that. And I put it on my list of books to read. And then I didn't actually buy it. And then a couple months later, I was talking with my friend Liz and she's like, oh, I just read the most amazing book. It's called The Five Second Rule. You've got to read it. you got to read it. I'm like, oh, okay, this is coming up again. I'm like, yeah, I already had that on my list, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And so a few more weeks went by. I ended up with somehow with a credit at Amazon that I, a $10 credit that I had two days to use, so I was looking for what can I buy with this credit, because basically free money, I didn't want to just let it go to waste, so what can I buy? So I can't, I, oh yeah, I said I wanted to read that book, so I finally bought the book, and once I got it, I devoured that thing in like three days. The point is, though, it took me a while to actually get around to buying it, so when you are going to networking events and talking to people and uh, maybe they're interested in working with you, maybe they're not quite ready yet. But the point is that we absolutely need to follow up and be persistent. It's not about being a pest. It's not about being annoying. Until someone, though, tells you, hey, please stop calling me. Please stop emailing me. Go ahead and keep in touch with them because I can't even tell you also how many times someone has said to me after maybe the ninth or 10th email or phone call and said, hey, thanks so much for being persistent. I really wanted to get back with you, but things kept getting in the way and I'm so glad that we're having a chance to connect now. So be persistent, keep making the effort and you will see it pay off. If you truly believe that what you have is of value to the other person, then let your desire to help them be greater than your feeling uncomfortable. All right. Take care. See you next time.